Good morning, friends. Uh. Hi, friends. How are we doing? Um, you guys, I need to sort my life out. I want to, I will sort my life out. This video <laughs> is going to be the first of, of many, okay? I'm saying that now. It is going to be the first of many. I want to sort my life out. I've just turned 29, which I love that for me. Do you know what's the most annoying thing about getting older? Is other people saying that you're old. And I'm like, 29 is super young. Look at me. I'm still super young. Like, this is like prime time. Prime time. And people are looking at you like, like you're 3 a.m. No, baby, I'm 6 o'clock news. Anyway, so I've just turned 29. Love that for me. But it's basically resulted, so I just forgot about the mic. It's basically resulted in like a lot of reflection. Thinking about life, what are we up to, what are we doing? And in many ways, like I'm so grateful to God, like life is great. But at the same time, in many ways, my life is very much like Hayakasha, you know? There's a lot of different moving pieces. And my issue, I'm okay with that, but my issue is that I don't wanna be one of those moving pieces in terms of I really really want if I could like have a wish aside from a million wishes and a billion pounds or dollars these days <laughs> what I would wish for was is like integrity integrity with myself that when I say I'm gonna do something I do it for example it is half 10 a.m. in the morning today I had acting class last night. I was supposed to be in bed by 11, but I was like, no, I'm gonna watch TikToks. 1 a.m., boom. Suddenly it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m., why are we watching TikToks at 1 a.m., Sarah, when you knew you had to be at the gym? I say all this to say, this mic is, it's too heavy. I say all this to say, I just want to, when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it because consistency is how you get results right so I want to be consistent with the things that I need to do and I know what I need to do I just need to have that integrity with myself when I say I'm gonna do something I don't wait to feel like it I just do it and I know that I can do that that's the frustrating thing I've done it loads of times in my life before I've gotten into amazing shape I have by God's grace I've accomplished things I've put my mind to things and accomplished them and I know I can do it again so I don't say this for sympathy I just say this to share the journey that I'm gonna, I want to make the 29th year of my life, which is funny because actually it's the 30th if you really think about it, but whatever. I'm gonna make 29 amazing. You know, cause part of me was like, oh, do I want the last year of my 20s to be like YOLO, yo no I don't. My lips are so dry. I am a Nigerian woman, I don't want to YOLO. I want to succeed, I want to succeed in life. YOLO, YOLO, come on. God will judge. So yeah, for me, I don't want to be out in these streets. I actually want to be home, going to bed at 9 p.m. and doing things that are gonna bring me joy and blessing and love and success in life. It feels like I've been sorting my life out for the last like, I'm gonna say like 10 years. Yeah, for the last 10 years I've been like, I just need to sort my life out, I just need to sort my life out. Well, baby, we're actually gonna do it. We're gonna sort it out. I'm gonna be super fit, super healthy, in the best shape of my life, and I'm gonna do that with patience, with love, with kindness. I'm going to enjoy life, have great relationships, have clear skin, healthy hair, nails that don't break at the sight of wind, uh, live in a beautiful place. Can someone please just come and hang this up, this whiteboard right here? Because I wanna sort my life out, but I don't wanna buy a drill. I think those are, that's one thing, like, you know when people are like, independent women, independent women, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I be, I've been doing a lot of stuff, I've been driving myself for 10 years, I've been paying my bills, all that jazz, but using a drill to hang something on the wall, like, come on, must I do everything? But then I don't want to hire a handyman, because I'm like, it is literally like four things. Maybe I'll call my sister. Anyway, I'm procrastinating. Let's go. I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to go meet my sister for lunch. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to sort my life out. Okay. Okay, cool. Bye. Thanks.
got time today. I got time today. I got time. Oh, sugar. I am back from the gym, babies. I'm back from the gym. I'm very sweaty, this lighting is terrible. Um, it is now like 10 to 12, I'm meeting my sister at one and I need time, I need time to actually travel. Um, but yeah, it was a good gym session. I just did like a circuit, which was 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Honestly, a lot of what I've been doing and a lot of what I do is very similar to my home workout plan, Healthy at Home. I actually canceled my gym membership. That's just, I just use the gym in my building now. Um, because I found that going, like travel in London, grateful for it, but not my favourite, like driving, parking, tube, whatever it is. So I, it was actually like, even though my gym is amazing, it was starting to be like a deterrent. Deterrent? Am I saying that right? Like it was making me not want to go. <laughs> so, and I know that I can achieve my fitness goals at home. Look how sweaty I am, you guys. Um, I know that I can achieve my fitness goals at home. I know I can. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm like, I'm happy with my shape. Like, I think I've learnt over the years to love my body, um, uh, no matter what shape I'm in. Um, that can be harder because I definitely have my own personal preference. Um, but when I say love my body, I don't mean like, oh, think it looks amazing, like the best it could look, in my opinion. Um, but you know, not be sad and <laughs> mad at myself, no matter what shape I'm in. So I'm not sad or mad at myself in this current shape. I know I'm in good shape, so please don't take this as a, I hate myself, so I want to change myself. No, really don't like that narrative, but that's like, that's a rant for another day. Because, microphone out, I personally believe that self-improvement is a form of love, so it's not coming from a place of self-hate. I just really, I know that I really do deserve my best and I wanna see what my best is and I know that this isn't my best because I haven't been as consistent. Okay, it's actually hilarious to me that I'm gonna put this mug on the internet. Um, oh. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready, get cute. Bye. I'm trying to figure it out your head. Put it on a piece of paper. But the first thing you need to do is develop the cyber well -being. So that's the second thing. Do you ever think it's so much? designed to work out in, but doesn't look more fun in weekend lives. The thing I like about Viore is that they are on a mission to create a healthy planet. Viore from some form of a control problem. We want to control everything. I realized that all of this was coming because I was trying to control it. If you were to put one word over your entire childhood, it was uncertainty. This is all coming. One of the things that we have to be okay with is, I go outside, I take my dog. Think of how amazing this human experience is. Next time you don't feel mad, you don't feel angry, you don't feel stressed. This is my outfit. It's just giving comfortable, a little bit loose. Um, won't let go of summer. Excited for winter.
I didn't really bother with my hair, I just trimmed off a few dead ends and very minimal makeup. I mean, who am I trying to pull? Um, but yeah, it's pretty chilled and comfy. Anytime I wear a dress, it's because I couldn't be bothered, honestly. Um, so I've got my clutch bag that I pretty much always wear. It's giving. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Give me some of the keys and stuff. Oh, damn. Don't y'all have, 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 have two sets? We have two sets, but not of... I read this tweet the other day that was like, this woman said that it's taken her her whole life to realize that the way that she enjoys apples most is sliced up. And honestly, I'm so glad I read that because same. Why have I been biting into apples all this time? Like, it's, it makes something so stressful when you could just treat yourself like a three-year-old and do this and it's so much nicer. Little math sized pieces. It's good. Oh, got the fruit sweats. Hi friends. Um, so I've just changed into my comfies. I usually only change into these when the day is done and it's like there is nothing more to be done today. Um, it's about five o'clock. Okay, half five. And I've just decided that I'm gonna hang up that whiteboard because I've been wanting to do it for ages and it's annoying me and I really feel like it's gonna help my planning. That's it. I can't sit here and be like, oh, maybe I'll get a handyman, maybe I'll... No, babes, you're done waiting. Just put that whiteboard up and let it be done with. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna um, call a friend and meal prep. And I've got another call about a show that I might be doing. Ugh, basically, I need to just make a decision. This is what I mean by like me feeling a little bit fed up with myself. It's like, okay, babe, just make a decision. Just make it, that's all you need to do is make a decision. So hopefully I'll have reached one by the end of tonight. But what I'm gonna do first is go pick up a screwdriver. Although the sunset is looking like it's about to be really sexy. So maybe I should swap those things around. Oh my gosh, Sarah, just make it such a... But look at this sunset that's loading. That is about to be one sexy mother ever. I'm not sure the light is coming through as well as it should. But when I tell you, this place is shining. Can you believe I actually, like, tried really hard to clean that glass? Because look how streaky that glass is. I honestly, like, had shoulder aches after doing that. And it's so streaky, but... Whatever, I tried. Okay, yeah, let's go to the hardware store. Let's go to the hardware and get some hardware. Okay, friends, I'm home. Um, I went to Wix and I asked the lovely man for help. Initially he was like, oh, you don't need that fancy one. You can get this cheaper brand name drill. And I was like, okay, all I wanna do is hang up a whiteboard. And he was like, yeah, yeah, get this. And then he's like, do you have bits? And I was like, what are bits? And he was like, you need bits. And I was like, what are bits? And then he points to all this stuff. I'm like, I don't know, like, you know, like long sticks, I don't know, the metal sticks that go in the end of the drill. I'm like, babe, I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are. Can I just get a complete, whatever I need? Can I just get the complete set? So he upsold me to this massive thing. It's so heavy, um, which has batteries and chargers and all the bits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to the living room because the sunset is gorgeous and I don't wanna miss it. Um, and I'm gonna show you the bits. Come with me. Oh, it's so pretty and pink. Oh, it's oh, oh, gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just, I don't know if you can see the colouring, but that, oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning. I love this time of year. I know it's colder, but the sunsets in this place at this time of year are just divine. Okay, it's going now, but oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Look at that. Very grateful and blessed. <laughs> hey guys, um, I'm sorry that I didn't finish this vlog. I actually ended up having a phone call with um, my friend Joe. I did a little breakfast prep, so I've made some pancakes there should last. They're still warm so I can't put them in the fridge yet but that should be a good three days breakfast there so just some healthy um, banana pancakes. Um, but yeah I'm gonna go to bed now so thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.